Hi guys, Susan here. I am going to do a attempt to do a cloudy effect. I'm using this instead of the deco art satin enamel. This is um, bare satin enamel. It is water based, it's not oil based, even though it says alkyde. Um, right there it says clean it with water. Make sure I can focus on this. I used it once before and it worked pretty good, so I'm going to try it again. I'm using it in the white and also in my colors as well. I'm going to try that. Um, I'm just using regular paint for the base coat, the background. Um, Artist Loft, Artist Loft Flow Acrylic, and uh, some pouring medium, Liquitex pouring medium. And uh, yeah, same with the black. The colors I'm using are gold, Artist Loft, Flow Acrylic, um, magenta. Equitex Basics and Ultramarine Blue Equitex Basics. So I've added um, but one part paint to a quarter, about a quarter of that um, of the enamel, and it has changed the color. It's not really looking gold anymore, but it's kind of. Uh, I don't know, kind of a creamy color. Magenta looks more pinkish. And the blue looks almost like a Copenhagen blue. It was looking too light, so I added a little bit of black and it changed it to kind of like a Copenhagen blue. Um, I also, I added, okay, I added, so it's one part paint quarter part enamel and about an eighth of uh, part of, of um, Liquitex pouring medium and then water to make it the right consistency. So I'm going to give it a try. fresh cup and I'm going to add black in the very bottom. And then some white. Or gold instead. Wait.
Okay, that's enough. I will pinch the cup again and swirl. Trying to go around in a circle here, see what happens. All the edges and corners are good. That's pretty cool what's going on here. Okay, I'll torch it.
Ooh, it looks like the night sky. I think that's just about enough. This is cool. Like this here too. I will bring it in for a close up. Also want to mention I don't I didn't put any silicone or any kind of domesticone in the uh, paints. Just pouring medium enamel and paint and water. Okay, I will let these dry and you'll see them at the end. Hi there, I'm back and my painting is dry. Very smooth. Just show you it on an angle to show you how flat and smooth this gets. It's very hard to see on, on this. Anyway, um, it's I believe it's so smooth and because of the um, the enamel, the satin enamel, the stuff that I have. Um, it's self-leveling, I believe, so that's probably why it's so smooth. It's almost like it's got a layer of plastic or something on here. It's very cool. Anyway, this is very different than when I first stopped um, moving it, the paint around. It changed quite a bit from very tiny, tiny little um, cells or pinholes or whatever they were to this changed within just a few minutes so I wish I would have done a time lapse on it would have been pretty cool but uh, I didn't think of it at the time so I will bring you in for a close-up I'm not too sure if I got um, cloudy effect Maybe some parts are cloudy, like in here, maybe. But anyways, I think it's pretty cool. For this one, I can't remember if I mentioned it when I was pouring the uh, paint uh, in the cup. Um, I pretty sure I added more of the enamel in the white and uh, that made a bit of a difference in in between this one and my other one which I'm not even sure I'll show you here but I don't think I can post the video because um, it was really blurry cells that I got and then the colors underneath showing through so anyway I um, thank you for watching and please come by um, our new Facebook group called acrylic art and pouring friends and join and um, like and subscribe if you enjoy my videos and i will see you in my next one take care bye for now